Hey guys, it's Tanya, VSG Tanya 2011, and I'm just coming in for a really quick um, update video. I didn't do one on Thursday, um, I just didn't have time, but uh, today is actually marks my two and a half years out from VSG surgery. I was sleeved on November 17th, 2011, and today is May 17th, 2013. So I thought I should say something, you know. Um, but what I want to say is, uh, you know, my weight has been up and I was kind of off track for a minute there, like a couple months. <laughs> and, um, I have had a good week this week. I am back on it with my fitness today. Make six days in a row that I've done some physical exercise, either walking or, uh, I took a cardio dance class, which I wasn't in love with. I've done yoga twice, which I do really like. I've done elliptical. I've done... Uh, spinning so I've been trying to, some different things now that I finished that half marathon just to kind of um, you know wet my feet a bit with something different and see if I can find a new passion for something else which I think yoga may be my thing so I think what I may start doing is 30 minutes of some kind of cardio either walking or elliptical and then the hour yoga maybe twice a week um, they have the class that I like at my gym on Saturday mornings and then uh, I think Monday and Thursday evenings but of course when Fat Kings comes back on uh, off their hiatus I won't be able to do the yoga class because it's from 6 30 to 7 30 and Fat Kings comes on at 7 so no biggie I'll do it the Saturday and Monday and that'll be great um, so I'm not doing a weight check-in I'll do a, my weight check-in on Thursday for my week whatever update it is and um, on Friday, we leave to go on vacation, so I'm going to work hard to stay on track uh, while we're on vacation. Usually, when I'm on vacation, I lose weight, and I think the reason is I struggle a lot with boredom eating. And, like, I'm not really hungry, but I just like to fill my time and to kill the boredom. I'll snack on stuff, and so I've really, really, really been battling with that because I haven't been like super challenged at work. You know, not that my job isn't challenging, but. I'm just kind of bored of it. I think I have a little bit of spring fever. And so um, I've been battling with that. But I find when I'm on vacation, I have lots of things that I'm doing that um, distract me. And I don't, I'm not looking to eat so much. So that's great. Um, one thing I want to talk about was my goal list. You know, at the beginning of the year, I did my 2014 goals. I've gotten across several things off recently. The half marathon, of course, and then the yoga class. I want to try a yoga class, and so I've crossed that off the list. And when we're um, we're going to be in Myrtle Beach for vacation uh, for a few of the days, and so I've booked us to all, the four of us, to go parasailing while I'm there. That was another thing that was on my list. It was, I actually wanted to do it last year and we didn't get to do it. So I have that on my list for this year. And not that I couldn't have done that prior to surgery because I think they can have like up to three people. But I wasn't comfortable doing it. Um, so now I'm really excited, looking forward to doing the parasailing. And who knows what else I'll find while we're on vacation that is a challenge. So that's great. Um challenge wise you know meeting my goals for 2014 um, what else so I've been doing I've been trying to keep my calories between like 800 to a thousand really less than a thousand and my carbs well under 45 grams of net carbs and of course my protein is always over 100 grams and um, I've been good with that no popcorn I had to cut that crap out no popcorn um, yeah, so I feel like I'm getting back in the game. I was really getting stressed out about the weight and what I have had like a little, not realization, but like remembering is that it's really not about the number. It's about making my good food choices and getting my fitness in. And I find, you know, after the tummy tuck, I was off and on with my exercise because I had issues with swelling and with um, the incision opening up when I would do certain things. And so I haven't had that since February. So that's great. Um, so I, I do find that I stay on track better when I'm exercising and I think it's because of two things. One, I don't want to screw up. If I put in the time and effort to, to do some kind of physical exercise, I don't want to eat it away. And then two, um, the time that I exercise is usually the same time of the day that I would really want to snack, which is in the evening. So um, it kind of like is a twofold um, positive for me when I'm back on my fitness. So I'm feeling like I'm getting back to my old self, which makes me really happy. And hopefully I'll be down to my old weight. I probably have 
I don't know, six pounds to go to get back to my happy place, which I know most people would look at me and not even notice that I'm up at all, but I know it and I can feel it in my stomach. That's the only place I can really feel it. Um, and so I'm just looking forward to getting back down to where I was. So uh, tomorrow we are uh, planning on spending the day at the pool. We have like a little local place that they call it a country club. It's not a country club. It's basically like a neighborhood pool that you can join and they have tennis courts there. Um, so I'm looking forward to spending time there. Um, a lot of the uh, kids that my kids go to school with, um, their families are members there. And so I'm looking forward to having some time to hang out with other adults and maybe having a adult beverage or two and talk and just relax and get some sun by the pool so y'all have a fabulous weekend it's beautiful here in new orleans and i will catch you on thursday before i leave for my trip and hopefully i'll have a good number to report for my check-in bye guys have a great week oh go out and make it happen